everybody. This is Angel's Calamity, and this is Transference, the Walter Test Case, another damn demos. Are you guys ready? I have no idea what I'm coming into, so let's do it. Brightness. Oh, always with the brightness. Okay, so that is where, you know, it says it always says it's not visible, but I like it a little brighter than what it says. Who doesn't, honestly? Who does not like that? Oh. Okay. I'm not skipping, Hello. so... My name is Raymond Hayes. I'm the director of the Brain Data Analysis Research Division here at the university. We're engaged in some very exciting work that we are thrilled to share with you today. You're, you're very lucky to be here. We have been able to create a digital environment that's based on the brain data of a single subject. Um, we'll call him Walter. Okay. Let's say. Now, this experience will work best if I tell you as little about Walter ahead of time as possible. But I will tell you that he has been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. Okay. Now, this is the incredible part. When you put on your headset, you will find yourself in a recreation of Walter's memory of this traumatic event. Now, I should say that this technology is very new and imperfect at this stage. Some of the data may be incomplete. Some may even be corrupted. What you are experiencing is a recorded consciousness. It's not unlike watching a movie. So no matter how real it may seem, it can't hurt you. You are completely safe. OK. You are completely safe. In a couple okay. of years, this technology is going to be perfected. It is going to be released in the world, and you the very few lucky ones that are here today are going to be able to tell your friends that you were there at the very beginning. And that is incredibly special. So thank you. Alrighty then. Um, so this can be VR or non-VR, which if I like this, I hope the full game... You... Anyway, I hope the full game is like that. I guess we're playing, huh? Alright. Interesting. So I see some. You're not supposed to be here. Okay. 2002. Hold on, we need to see if there's subtitles. Oh, there's no pause. Okay. Oh. Is that you? Okay. Remember how we used to play blocks? So when there's background talking, since there's no subtitles, I will try to be very quiet. So that way I don't interfere with what the experience. Don't forget to turn off the light. Okay. So turning off the light changes the time, it seems. Let's check out 1993 real quick. All right. Seems like a pretty 1990s kitchen here. I wish there was options. I mean, there probably was options on the front. A key is required. I just wanted to get right into it. I'm very slow. This is a PSVR title. Shush, no one asked you. Okay. What? Okay. Let me turn on the TV. Ah, my favorite channel. Very 70s TV set there. I, let, I dig it. A little bub. Hello, little bub. I'm imagining the distortion is around items that have not always been Why there. Okay, third arm. No, you're not. Third armored division. Are you done? Are you done? We never do anything anymore. Third Armored Division, Iraq, 1991. Imagine we're the guy in the middle. <clears throat> or at least in the memories of the guy in the middle. Self-help book. Okay. Same. I don't care. Alright. 
crying child. There's no, why is there a remote for that TV? That TV does not. Is oh, we can look at this. Okay. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Cool beans. Cool stuff. Um. Are you even there? You're never there. I'm here, all right. Yeah, it is. I'm just kidding. Poor kid. Maybe. Maybe, uh. He's cute. Why won't you play with me? Trying to open the door. Don't come in! That thing will happen! Okie dokie, Yoda Jokey. Is it locked? Okay. Oh. What if I'm persistent? You shouldn't be here. Okay, I get it. Where are my blocks? 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 Okie dokie, that's kind of weird. Alright, I think it's time to switch back to, uh... Yeah. You kept telling me to man up. Fucking man up? You never showed me how to man up. Some Mr. Fix-It you were. Couldn't fix your goddamn life. You seen Ma lately? She can barely get out of bed. That's on you. That's your fault. Okay, sounds like it's loopy now. So, <clears throat> sorry if I was really quiet during that section there. I wanted to, uh... Dirty plate. Okay, I wanted to make sure we got the whole, the whole thing, the whole idea of what is happening. So I have initial impressions, but I'll keep quiet for now. If you guys have any impressions, go ahead and comment them down below. So so far we've t seen two different types of antidepressants. I didn't try to actually look through all the cupboards in the other time period. Let's see what this does. You have. One. New message. Okay. Hottie? You there, baby? Tell Mama what's going on, sweetie. I tell that deadbeat dad of yours to pick up the goddamn phone! I'm sorry, baby. I just get so scared. Should I... Should I just come over there? I will if you want me to. It seemed like, yes, he had his issues. I mean, this is not really something else that I was talking about before, but but it also seems like his family was not, especially his wife, was not very supportive and understanding with... Good afternoon. On my orders, the United States military has been... ...against al-Qaeda terrorist training camps and military installations of the Taliban regime in Afghanistan. These carefully targeted actions are designed to disrupt the use of Afghanistan as a terrorist base of operations and to attack the military capability of the Taliban regime. We are joining this operation by our staunch friend, Great Britain. Other close friends, including Canada, Australia, Germany, and France, have pledged forces as the operation unfolds. More than 40 countries in the Middle East, Africa, Europe, and across Asia have granted air transit or landing rights. Many more have shared intelligence. We are supported by the collective will of the world. More than two weeks ago, I gave the Taliban leaders a series of clear and specific demands. Close terrorist training camps, ensure the safety of civilians, and return all foreign nationals, including American citizens, unjustly detained in your country. Please remember that none of these demands were met. And I'm sure you're aware of this. Please remember that none of these demands were met. 
And now, the Taliban will pay a price. By destroying camps and disrupting communications, we will make it more difficult for the terror network to train new recruits and coordinate their evil plans. Initially, the terrorists may burrow deeper into caves and other entrenched hiding places. Our military action is also designed to clear the way for sustained, comprehensive, and relentless operations to drive them out and bring them to justice. At the same time, the oppressed people of Afghanistan will know the generosity of America and our allies. As we strike military targets, we will also drop food, medicine, and supplies to the starving and suffering men and women and children of Afghanistan. The United States of America is a friend to the Afghan people, and we are the friends of almost a billion worldwide who practice the Islamic faith. The United States of America is an enemy of those who aid terrorists and of the barbaric criminals who profane a great religion by committing murder in its name. This military action is a part of our campaign against terrorism, another front in a war that has already been joined through diplomacy, intelligence, the freezing of financial assets, and the arrest of known terrorists by law enforcement agents in 38 countries. Given the nature and reach of our enemies, we will win this conflict by the patient accumulation of successes, by meeting a series of challenges with determination and will and purpose. Today we focus on Afghanistan, but the battle is broader. Every nation has a choice to make. In this conflict, there is no neutral ground. If any government sponsors the outlaws and killers of innocents, they have become outlaws and murderers themselves, and they will take that lonely path at their own peril. I'm speaking to you today from the treaty room of the White House, a place where American presidents have worked for peace. We're a peaceful nation. Yet as we have learned so suddenly and so tragically, there can be no peace in the world of sudden terror. In the face of today's new threat, the only way to pursue peace is to pursue those who threaten us. We did not ask for this mission, but we will fulfill it. In the name of today's military operation is enduring peace. We defend not only our precious freedom, but also the freedom of people everywhere to live and raise their children free from fear. I know many Americans still fear today, and our government is taking strong precautions. Our law enforcement and intelligence agencies are working aggressively around the map, around the world, and around the clock. At my request, many governments have activated the National Guard to strengthen airport security. We have called up reserves to reinforce our military capabilities and strengthen the protection of our homeland. And once again, our patience will be one of our strengths. Patience gets a long wait, but it will result in tighter security. Patience and understanding that it will take time to achieve our goals. Patience and all the sacrifices that make time. Today, those sacrifices are being made by members of our armed forces. What? Who now defend us so far from home and by their proud and worried families. A commander in chief sends America's sons and daughters into a battle in a foreign land only after the greatest care and a lot of prayer. We ask a lot of those who wear our uniform. We ask them to leave their loved ones. To travel great distances, to risk injury, even to be prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice of their lives. They are dedicated. They are honorable. They represent the best of our country. And we are grateful. To all the men and women in our military, every sailor, every soldier, every airman. Every Coast Guardsman, every Marine, I say this. Your mission is defined. Your objectives are clear. Your goal is just. You have my full confidence, and you will have every tool you need to carry out your duty. I recently received a touching letter that says a lot about the state of America in these difficult times. A letter from a fourth grade girl with a father in the military. As much as I don't want my dad to fight, she wrote, I'm willing to give him to you. This is a precious gift, the greatest she could give. This young girl knows what America is all about. Since September 11, an entire generation of young Americans has gained new understanding of the value of freedom and its cost in duty and in sacrifice. The battle is now joined on many fronts. We will not waver. We will not tire. We will not falter. And we will not fail. Okay. If that that was really really long, I just I'm done. On my order, it just ended. That's funny. When strikes. I save my replay, it Against just ended. It, camps. I actually did hear all of it, but it was. I guess if you want to hear that speech, you can uh, look online or even you know message me on my Facebook page. But did you guys see the thing that was here? You saw that, right? Today, those sacrifices are being right. Made by Okay, because I know I did during that speech part there. So, no doorknobs, I imagine that's a no-go. And I know I should be going in the basement, but I want the full experience. So. And there's nobody over here. There's no way to go to follow that remnant. So now we're going to go listen to him. And, uh... Just come downstairs, I guess. Okay. We were nothing to you. Nothing but a pair of fucking punching bags. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right. Okay. So I imagine if I go down there, that'll repeat. So let me just, uh,. Oh, it won't let me change. Oh, will it? Okay. Do I still have the key? I do. So what happens if I try to go down to the basement now that I get the key? Okay, let me... Let me try. Okay. Let's see what happens. All right. Hmm. I'm a little unnerved now. That was, that was pretty... I wonder if that's how Walter died? If he did die? 
Because I first saw the way he was yelling, I thought maybe he was yelling at a man who had taken his own life. But it doesn't seem that way now. It seems that maybe his own son killed him because of Walter's issues. He was probably abusive, which he should not have been. And I don't know the whole story, but maybe he came to be abusive and so angry because his family might not have accepted all of the issues that he had. And it made it harder for him to cope and deal with it, so aggression was the way he went to. I don't know. I'm not giving excuses for abuse, but there's a reason for everything. Whether it's a good reason or a bad reason, there's still a reason. What does that say? Oh, I can't read that. Ted at the fair. Somebody, uh, Scott and Ted at the fair. Okay. Oh, I have this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but... More antidepressants. Empty beer bottle. Wait, if our name is Walter, does that mean our nickname is Ted? Oh, Ted Walter. Ted Walter, okay. I hear... I don't understand. Okay. Oh, I hear it. I don't think there's anything else over here. No, I already looked there. Let's go. What? What said X? Hold on. Oh, okay. I'm confused. What? What? Okay. That's getting really creepy. Where's it coming from? I'm just, I didn't get a chance to look. I went too fast. I was too eager. Okay. Uh, is that still the same dirty plate? Who puts dirty plates inside of there? Coverage or cabinets. Submarine, okay. This is very clearly a very broken person. Okay. A lot Leonard Gaunt's counseling with Dr. Stevens. Okay. I'm confused. Where am I? Oh, the bird's freaking out, man. Everything's flipping out. Everything's freaking out. Everything is just going nuts. Oh. Oh, there's a missing picture frame. Oh. Daddy, is that you? Hi. Scott. Hi, buddy. I'm coming. How are you doing, buddy? You're not supposed to be here. Oh. I can't believe I looked up to him. I looked up to him. Some goddamn hero. Some goddamn hero. Couldn't save his own family. We're not even a family. We're, not even a family. We're a bunch of goddamn people. <laughs> <laughs> can't believe I looked up to him. Okay. Maybe I'm not supposed hero. to interrupt him. Couldn't save his own family. We're not even a family. We're a bunch of goddamn POWs. It's all a lie. I'm living a fucking lie. Are you proud of me now? What if I I'm crouch? Killer, just like you. I was never good enough. Never man enough. Okay. So, I'm concerned on a number of levels. I imagine even if we crouch when we go in there, we'll still be killed. So, now that he's not in the basement, does that mean we can go into the basement? Let's see. Do, do, do. Looking for my dad? Well, you're too late. You want to find him so bad? 
join him. All right. Mine eyes have seen the story of the coming of the Lord. Um, I can't read that. Glory, glory. Glory, I don't know what messing with that does. I want that note. Glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. Wait, it says something different. Oh. This is just going to shit. Okay. I I found them. There's just a lot of assault on my senses at this point in time. Um can we we cannot go back up the stairs. These poor people. And I know it does really happen in real life and that makes it worse. I'm not saying there was a wrong or a right, just either way this happened and it sucks. Okay. Hold on, I gotta look at something. Sorry, the kids got dropped off at the bus stop, so... Is this like one of those puzzles where I have to line it up just right to see? Yep. There it is. Gotcha. I don't know. Uh, this is really weird. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Get it out of my head! Oh. Oh. My. Well, that was a wild ride. That was pretty crazy. Whew, alrighty. So, uh, lots of impressions there. That was just a demo. There is a full game coming in the future. At this time, I do not have a release date. I will put one on the screen. But, uh, thanks for watching. This has been Angel's Calamity playing another damn demos. And I liked it. If it's not too expensive, I will uh, probably get it in the future and play it for the channel. Let me, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Once again, like, comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!